Welcome to MacProVideo.com, Motion 5 Training. This is Module 102. We're going to be talking about working with objects. Really, we're going to go over a lot of the basics of using the program. Now, hopefully, you've already uh, followed the 101 course, the, the free course that covered an overview of the whole workflow, getting you started, and I'll be sort of building on that throughout this and the remaining tutorials. We're going to start this one talking about importing images, deal with some Photoshop layered files, talk about animation files and how to collapse them when you import them, uh, talk about more advanced transformations like drop shadow, crop, and distort, get into the project properties and then the canvas settings and, and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, then we're going to talk about managing layers, working with creating groups and moving objects, the view options in the canvas so that you can control exactly what you're seeing there in the canvas, looking at the media pane, and then we'll move into a lot of detail with working with shapes, all the different kinds of shapes and all the different ways that you can customize and adjust those. And there's quite a bit to talk about. You're going to get a sense of the real depth of what Motion offers. And it is really an incredibly deep program. Then we're going to move on to paint strokes, which also has incredible depth and you do really fun stuff like this little W thing going on here, but we'll do much more interesting and complex stuff than that. And then we'll finally get into talking about masks. And masks, uh, Motion has tremendous capabilities for creating masks. Uh, you can combine masks, you can do freehand masks, masks based on Bezier or B-splines, and, and all this is going to be really fun and really cool, so let's jump in.